What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm doing a string of videos. Oh, yeah. Let me let me, let me me say something to my little critic. I have one special little critic. He wears his hat backwards. thinks he's cool and stuff. You're always commenting that I'm ugly. I can see if you were a chick. But, dude, I won't slide that route. That's your business. If you do, go ahead. You got your five seconds of fame, all right? Now kill yourself. Back to lecture hand. We'll talk about how uh, serious and how we're going to have to... Hold on a minute. I got to take care of a little phone and see who this call on the message there. Over in Syria, they say the air camp, they said the quote-unquote air war could last over a year. You know, they're trying to root out ISIS and other linked groups. And uh, they don't have a foreseeable future as to when this will be over. You got you know, the usual, the usual military political speak. Uh, and the bad part about it, a lot of, I think most of this is due to the Syrian government's own lack of fight or the lack of will to fight. Because let me put it this way, Syria wasn't cool with ISIS. But Syria, that's a saw Assad knew if Syria, if ISIS took over, he would be either dead or exiled. But at the same time, Assad ain't really fucking cool with us. I mean, that's I mean, I mean the Western world and some of them are Arab friends, allies. I'll say allies, they're not really our friends. They're just using us. But uh, Assad's not cool with us, so he's like, let them two duke it over. Because Assad will still stay in power. Assad's ally, and really we think about it, is the United States. Because they're doing Assad's job for him. We're rooting out ISIS, who we initially gave money to, to ban against Assad. So Assad's feeling vindicated that, hey, look, in Assad's eyes, the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy, but yet, they can do what they, they can do what they want to do. Because like I said, if Assad really wanted to, I'm sure he had SAM missiles. I'm sure he has other stuff they could shoot and knock a few planes down. I'm sure he still got like 1930 technology from the Soviet Union. So but back to the air war. I don't think realistically we can just keep bomb them on you know, we can bomb them, but outside of outside of making it a parking lot, what can what can bombing do? If you, if you see the, the, like Gaza and Hamas, they got tunnels and in, in, in they're entrenched. Just don't think them tunnels that you can see are Israel bombing or just the tunnels. It's probably deeper tunnels than that. That's just, they ain't gonna shoot the fucking everything they can. I understand that. You know, all, we, all we're doing is political. Here's what we're doing. We're doing, I want to tell you the political thing we're doing. We're just buying the Iraqis some time so they can build up their army which was supposedly built up when we left. But like I said, the Iraqi army is like his worst. The Iraqi army is about as bad as the French army. Whenever they see a fight, firefight, at least they, they like to the, remember what the French were for, sort what, no, what's French for war? It's called I surrender. You know what the Iraqis word for war is? I've never seen it. Because whenever they do, they turn around and run the other way. They're trying to build the Iraqi government up so they can build their, pop, their uh, military up so they can take it over to fight themselves. Which ain't going to happen, folks. Because remember, they're supposed to have the military supposed to take over the country and look what type of look up a toilet that is now. ISIS is based in Syria. We were the ones that like gave them that. We we put the bag in their back. I'm sure they received American funds to fight Syria. Now the enemy of our enemy is our enemy. And meanwhile, Iraq don't know what the hell to do. It's like, who's sleeping at the willow? So, I'm out. Peace.